don't know about you, but I've been seeing a ton of reviews on the brand new Nike GT Cut recently. And to some extent, every review touches on the shoe's drop-in midsole, how innovative it is, how it improves cushion and feel. However, there are some things you really need to watch out for before you consider buying a shoe with a drop-in midsole in it. Let's get into them. Hey, what is up? It's Zachary, YouTube Foot Doctor. And like I said, the drop-in midsole to me is kind of an enigma, and there are really some things you have to consider before buying a shoe with one in it. So the first thing is, what is a drop-in midsole? So what a drop-in midsole is, is instead of the upper and the insole of the shoe being glued to the midsole foam of the shoe, it's actually glued right down to the outsole, or right above the outsole. And then the midsole is actually put over top of it, kind of like an insert. And there actually are some benefits to this configuration. The first is you feel more cushion because your foot is directly on top of the foam instead of being separated by the insole or the strobe board. The other benefit is just like its name, it's removable. You just drop another one in. So when one wears out, you just put a new one in. But in my eyes, those are really the only two actual benefits. The glaring downside to this design is stability. Remember, every unique part of a shoe is an opportunity for instability. That's why in most shoes, they're all glued in and around one another to create one stable unit. And with a drop-in midsole, you have the bulkiest part of the shoe just rattling around in there instead of being secured underneath your foot which can then lead to your foot moving independent of the shoe. And this gets even more unstable if you wear orthotics, because now you have an unstable base and then another platform on top of that, almost like some sort of balancing act. Plus, if you're wearing orthotics, you're not gonna feel the cushion of the drop-in midsole anyway, so that benefit is kind of rendered moot. And don't just take it from me as a foot doctor who treats athletes all the time. If you look at one of the greatest female tennis players of all time, Serena Williams, this is her shoe, the Nike Court Flare. This is the stock model, the one you can buy in the store. And if you look at it, look, drop in midsole, right? But I was actually able to get one of Serena's custom shoes at auction and cut it open. And if you look at Serena's version of the Nike Court Flare, what is missing? The drop in midsole, she just has a regular old insole in the shoe. Plus her midsole is just a little bit taller and it's sewn right in to the rest of the shoe, just like a traditional shoe. Now Serena Williams also uses custom orthotics in her shoes and that's what really kind of redistributes all her pressure and gives her the custom fit. Plus these shoes are made with a custom last. But if you just look at the insole and the midsole of the shoe, she's not using the drop in midsole. So even some of the most elite athletes in the world kind of opt out of that piece of technology because if you're someone like Serena Williams, you need the ultimate instability from your shoe. You don't want any type of different moving parts that could cause any type of injury or just any type of lack of feel on the court or decrease confidence with your movement. And if you're a runner, you risk chronic repetitive injuries like plantar fasciitis and Achilles tendonitis because when you're running, your foot moves independent of the shoe, then it pulls the upper of the shoe, then the insole, and I should say in this case, the midsole comes up, slaps your heel, and then the outsole comes up and slaps you again. So you're getting all this little micro motion and micro trauma when you're running instead of the shoe just being one solid unit that moves really fluid with you while you're running. Bottom line is if you're doing any hard side to side cutting, you can have major issues with stability with this design. And all these things just create these big domino effects on your foot, which to me just really outweigh the benefits of this design. Now if you're just using these shoes to kick around in more of a casual type shoe, then yeah, I think they're great. The foam really feels soft underfoot. You're just gonna feel a little bit more comfortable kind of kicking around in them all day versus some other casual or lifestyle shoes. However, for the more violent movements of high performance athletics, I just don't think they can hold hold up under your foot in the long term or even the short term. But I really wanna know in the comments down below, are you wearing drop-in midsole shoes just for casual wear or are you really using them in performance situations like tennis and basketball and the GT Cut, for example? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you wanna see all the weird and crazy things that professionals are putting in their custom shoes, make sure you click into the playlist up above and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next video.